So the natural question today is how far, <laughs> how far can we take this as we get four geckos? Be some hungry burglars. So how much insanity can we really accomplish here with the toy, or sorry, the tiny house, not the toy house. Um, since we won, we're going to, I'll grab the gecko and then end turn. Right, because we don't care if we lose here because we're going to get the heart back. So we might as well just full send it. And of course we are going to lose, but that's fine. And now we get a solid level up. We have a ton of gold. Um, pangolin, how much? We could run a ferret. Let's try it. Let's hunt for a ferret. And we'll grab golden. Dude, this is kind of crazy out here. We don't have a ferret. We do have a mandrill. There's something there, maybe. We could just run a lemur. Lemur might actually just be better. Go garlic, and honestly, I think we run it like this. I'd rather have garlic on this big homie. And I mean, this team is insanely powerful, by the way. There's very little chance we lose this one, I would think. Yeah. And that's how you gotta do it. You know, take some L's where you need to. Tactical L's, we'll say. Um, I just remember Penguin doesn't have a pill associated and there's no pill bug. So actually, I don't think he's going to help us much. But honestly, let's just end turn. We're still incredibly strong. Carry over to the next turn. Basically just trying to keep as much gold going on the following turn as possible. I think is going to be our strat. And we're good. It's basically just like skipping every other turn, <laughs> but it works. I mean, it's great. It's going well for us. Give you a fig. Grab another lemur. I'd love to get a level if possible. Roll me. Minotaur is huge here. What are you? Friend gain strawberry gain plus one plus one. That seems kind of whatever. We could run... We don't even have a hummingbird? Bro, what? <laughs> How the heck are we supposed to do anything with that? Um, do we go drop bear or do we go brain cramp? I kind of feel like we go brain cramp here. And then we can go... Just roll me. I do think that these figs are going to be pretty solid for us. That's huge. So yeah, basic strategy. We're going to skip every other turn and we're just going to get so strong that we just kind of win. <laughs> and so far it's working. I mean, we've been doing pretty good work so far. All right, so keep the lemur for next turn. I will grab the brain cramp while we're here. Just so in the next roll we get a little bit extra stuff. But since there's nothing else in the shop, we're not going to roll. Now there is an argument to be made that we're looking for level ups at these lower tiers. So if you're not planning on pivoting, this isn't a very good strategy. I'm not against pivoting, you know. I'm not opposed in the slightest. So now we can run Lemur again. Now both of you get garlic, which is incredible. Stork has got to go. We're running a crocodile here. And then how do we want to do this? Well, that's a good way to do it. Mosasaurus, huh? I'm trying to decide if Mosasaurus is better. Tell you what, we'll keep it and turn. Carry over some gold the next turn. Like, we're kind of just cooking right now. <laughs> we're kind of just insane with it. The 1415 didn't even have to attack. Then we go here. Let's say I'd like to get rid of this lemur, but we need to get another toy. That's the issue. Um, how important? Crocodile is pretty good against turkey teams. 
So maybe we run it like this. Or we could even run it like this, right? If we get rid of the gecko. It doesn't matter who's in front. Level 2 versus level 3. Not a huge issue. Okay, and then keep rolling. Try to get some levels, potentially. Come on. Anything? Anything good? Hmm. That's very good. We don't need turkey. We probably don't need bad dog either. We could get it. It'd be a little risky. Get it for the great one. <laughs> Or we could just turn this into a turkey team, but that's boring. We don't need turkeys. Throw you in the mix here. Give him a little pair. Call it a day. Well, I guess if you just snipe everybody, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> if you get enough snipes, you're probably okay. All right, good scaling there. Maybe we run a mandrill? Give you garlic. We need a toy though, if we're gonna do mandrill. Level you. There's a toy. Let's just do this. Well, that's a tier six, so like, we'll go air palm for extra triggers on you, I think. Or we go TV for scaling. Maybe that's better. We got enough runway. Yeah, we don't need Mandrill here. We got enough runway, it doesn't really matter. That's fine. And we're good. We are good. Maybe this strategy is actually busted. <laughs> you know, like maybe. Let's get some more scaling going. Harpy Eagle, Velociraptor. So this is going to be a big scaling turn, so we need to like really full send whatever we're going for. I'm not sure what that's going to be. We could ditch the crocodile or just keep him. I kind of like keeping him, to be honest. Maybe we just keep everybody, you know? Maybe we just keep everybody and we look for a mongoose. Um, nothing here, let's just end turn. Okay, they don't have much snipes. They got some snipes, but not not a whole lot. They do have <laughs> they do have turkey summons though. And that'll get you. Beautiful. Let's grab you. Let's freeze you. Another Mosasaurus. I mean I'd love to, don't get me wrong. Well, we gotta find you, right? Um, do we go another TV here? Yeah, I think so. We got the high end. We got health for it. Let's try it out. And turn carry over to the next turn. And very limited snipes, aside from the figs. Which, let's be honest, everybody is running figs right now. <laughs> I'm not too worried about that one. He got perfect lethal, what the heck? Crazy. Um, let's see. Look for some crocodiles, perhaps. That's, that's kind of a crocodile. Hold you for next turn, level you. And let's end turn. The, the tiny house actually feels really good with toy build. Because if you, if you don't have anything else to do, just end turn, <laughs> you know? There's no issue just end turning. Ending turn. Is end turning or ending turn the correct way to do that? Television. And then... <laughs> end turn. <laughs> that one might be a little too early. Uh, we could probably find some more levels or something, but honestly, we don't even need to. <laughs> Alright, this is fun. This is a lot of fun. Just end turn immediately. 
And now we have the mongoose ready. We could throw in a puma, but we're... We get rid of the minotaur for a puma. Seems a little, little much. A little much, perhaps. Probably go for crocodile here. Yeah, looks good. There's the puma again. <laughs> we might as well just get some more snipes, I think. And then, yeah, let's just end turn. Since we have the mongoose already, we don't need to just waste rolls, you know? You know what I'm saying? And we're good. I really like the Minotaur in this build. I, I'm glad we didn't get rid of him for the Puma. And you know what? Let's just end it on a good one. <laughs> Let's get the level 3 Mongoose. And we probably should go, go some Air Palm here. Let's be real. Let's be real, guys. Come on. Be real for a second here. Give everybody figs. And what do we got? One last chocolate on... Who do we want it on? We'll go you in case we don't win here. And then we can go for a Mosasaurus out. And we don't have any waffles, so we're kind of all inning on this right now. Our scaling is going to drop off significantly if we lose two in a row. But like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Surely that's not going to happen, right? Yeah, because we have a coconut here. Oh, dude, we're good. We're so good. Oh, my lord. Dude. All right. So I'm, I'm trying to limit test this, but it seems like you can just end turn whenever the hell you feel like it, and it works. <laughs> like, just keep going. It does every other turn. You just do nothing, and it works. I don't know what it is, but I like it. It's fun. All right. Limit testing here. <laughs> Let's just do it like this. Let's just end turn. See what happens. That was a pretty weak team. We probably could have beat them. So we're going for a 30 gold tier 3. Or tier 2. Okay. We only lose one health, mind you. And these are some fantastic pets. We go here. We go here. Get a level. Do you want a goldfish? You can grab one for a second. And turn. Goldfish will just be even better for pivots. And we're good. <laughs> and we're good. Okay, this is great. This is fantastic news. Um, so let's... End turn. Keep the goldfish cooking. He has no toys. This is great. This is wonderful news. Oh, dude. Off by one. Get out of here with that. I think definitely Minotaur is the way to do it here. Definitely Fig. Definitely Brain Cramp. <laughs> and then... See if we can get some levels here. Garlic on you. Goldfish, maybe. like this. Good snipes. The bat hit our homie. What the heck? How do you do that? Okay, we're fine. We hit the one in five on our garlic minotaur. Feels bad. Alright, I need to get some level up set up here. Sure. There it is, that's huge. Because we're gonna get extra cell gold here, so I'm totally fine with that. 
keep the Doberman here for a second. I kind of want to try running like a big Doberman pivot. I just don't know if like the coconut is really good enough for that. We'll see, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> we take those. That is totally fine. Alright, give me a level. Give me... Ditch you throw in a crocodile? Or do we go chicken? Chicken doesn't have a whole lot of support, which is the, the unfortunate part. Alright, like you don't have mushrooms, you don't have any whales, there's really not a whole lot of support for like spam chicken levels. Let's just, let's just go with the tried and true crocodile strat. And we're just going to end turn a couple of times. Get above tier 4. Almost. We almost had him. If he didn't have so many snipes. Level you. We could run a hamster. Not loving any of these, so let's just... <laughs> Let's just end turn. Which actually we could have rolled one time. Because our swan will give us two gold. So that's a little bit of an oopsie. But not a huge issue. Obviously. Because we're good. Alright. So let's go. We can keep the crocodile. Run a doberman here. We can chocolate on you. Fantastic. Any good tier sixes? Cerberus ain't bad. Cerberus ain't too bad. We can run it with a Minotaur. Maybe we take an off turn on the Cerberus. Or the Doberman. Or we just end turn here. No, we just hit tier five. That would be that would be crazy. That would be ridiculous. Here's the swan. We're getting the goldfish. He'll give him all we need. And you know what? Let's just send it. <laughs> Let's just send it. Confirm. End turn. Can we survive? Let's see. Dude, no shot. <laughs> no shot does the weakness get us there. Alright, so we have to pivot here, which is totally fine. Tell you. Level you. Almost. So now we're rolling for something something nasty. Something just diabolical. We could do another Cerberus, but I want to go Grizzly here. They're Croc. Let's go chocolate on the bear. See if we can get another chocolate. That's huge. Level U. And then we can combine into a fly. Hold. We can throw in the Doberman. End turn so we can get an extra five gold for tier six. The snipes are a little bit menacing. It's making it difficult to run the bear in the back. But I mean, not impossible. Okay, so we could run another Cerberus in place of the fly. That kind of sounds fun. It's really like, is the bear going to survive? That's, that's the big question we're having here. And there's no way to give him a ton of free health with the PETA. There's no way to like hurt him in shop or anything that I can think of. Maybe we keep the fly around. And then let's just give you a little extra something. And honestly run it like this. Make the fly our sacrificial lamb. <laughs> Actually make the crocodile our sacrificial lamb. That makes more sense. 
So then the fly will get... Oh, but the fly's only gonna work twice if we do it that way. But he's probably gonna get sniped is the problem. I don't know. I don't know the best way to set that one up. Yeah, because they're definitely sniping. They got snipes out here, that's for sure. Beautiful. Just keep getting our bear cooking. He is our prized possession, if you will. So that's 8 and it goes to 16, right? An extra 16 attack. That's pretty good. Let's try it. While we're here, might as well. Big snipes. Big snipes. Oh baby. <laughs> we gotta get a little lucky dodging snipes here, but honestly dude, we're kinda cooking. <laughs> we're like kinda cooking out here. Let's just give everybody a bunch of health. We got enough damage from the bear and all these hits and stuff. We just gotta make everybody tanky enough to survive snipes. That's all we're looking for. And snipe his Cerberus, that helps too. Dude, no shot is this working as well. <laughs> There's no way this is working as well as it is. There is no limit, that's what we're learning. We're limit testing, there is no limit. We could run a turkey, but that's that's been done. Has been done to death. Aw, oh, dude, he missed. That's, that's very bad. The turkey gets him there. The turkey gets him there. <laughs> we could have done turkey, but... I don't know, turkey's boring. This sounded more fun, and it would be, I think. But turkey is better, as everyone knows. Alright, does that count as hitting the limit? You let me know. I think... Maybe. <laughs> the pivots are... It's, it's tough when you get to the end and you're like one health. It makes it a little more dicey than if you're just doing the every other strat, you know? But, I don't know. It's kind of fun. You know, you get to tier, tier 6, or tier 5 I guess, with 30 gold. It was kind of hard. It goes kind of hard, I'm not going to lie. Let me know what y'all think. Hope you enjoy. I'll catch you in the next one.